Hello and welcome back to the farm. Uh, we're getting started today on our own barley. And uh, yeah, you can see the guys from Crossfield Dairy are down here helping me. Uh, it's not going to be very long, to be honest, to get this field dropped out. Uh, it's, it's basically a single cut in. It's a fairly small field. And um, yeah, um, should be knocked out fairly quickly. As a result, they're only going to do two headlands. So we're uh, basically sitting here until uh, they're full. Um, I th yeah, I think the yield on here should be fairly good. Um, I, but I don't, I don't think they're going to need to empty before the first headland uh, is complete. So uh, it's just a case, really, of, uh, of waiting for them to come back round. We're pretty good elsewhere on the farm. Uh, the hay is still drying. It's We've had a few wet dews uh, the last couple of weeks. And as a result, we've, we've ended up with this issue where it's not it's still not drying as fast as I'd like. Um, it's drying faster than I'd uh, than it had been had we not done that tedding a few weeks ago. And as a result, I've done another round of tedding on it just to try and uh, counteract this effect we're getting from the dew. But uh, it has um, it still hasn't quite dried yet, so it's taken a while. But we should still have some. Uh, we should still get some hay off it. I'm I'm concerned because we have got rain coming later in the month. We've been fairly lucky with August and uh, and September in that we've not had a huge amount of rain, uh, which has been good for the harvest. Uh, has allowed uh, Crossfields to to get their harvest in, uh, and is now allowing us to get ours. But yeah, we're we're in a position now where the clock is ticking. And uh, I don't know how much longer it's going to be uh, before the rain falls. And if it doesn't dry to, if the grass doesn't dry sufficiently to become hay, um, before that rain falls, we're, we're likely to get a lot of it rot in the field, which is, yeah, just not going to be a good thing. Combine's coming back round and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Elizabeth who's driving it today. To be honest, she does most of the work over at Crossfields now. Uh, her father isn't um, taking quite as active a role as he once did. Uh, she let me know she's about 60% full, um, which is uh, which is good. That's not bad, actually, off that first headland. So uh, I want to go and empty the combine uh, as it hits probably about 7,000 litres. Would be good for us. Uh, so I'm going to follow her round and uh, and get. I, th I think we're going to try and empty along the back um, side of the field. Get it going there and go that way. There she goes and in. Perfect. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll shadow her for a bit and uh, and just make sure that we can uh, get the combine emptied uh, when it when it reaches kind of an optimal amount for our trailer. We want to get about half the trailer full, uh, which is about seven thousand two hundred liters, which, if my estimates are right, should be around about the corner of this field. And yeah, it's a bit of a fiddly corner. There we go. There we are. So we'll pull up the side now and get this emptied. Uh, like so. There we are. Little bit of ooh, careful positioning. Try and keep this in the back. And again, the visibility on this tractor comes into play. Just works really, really well for me to see exactly where I'm placing the grain in this com uh in this trailer wait yeah she's cut it off because it got a bit wiggly there there we go wait are you stopping there because right, we're coming to the end of the row that's why yeah takes a careful combine driver to to keep an eye and make sure that um you know, they cut it off if they see it uh, it's going to drop off the trailer or drop out the trailer. Um, but she's uh, very well practiced at this. 
Right, let's back this up and uh, yeah, let it get on with it, I think. It's quite a fiddly corner, that one. So that's the headlands done and dusted. She's going to cut into the field now, I think. I think she said she was only doing two headlands. Would make sense. Although... I'm not quite sure why she's reversing all the way up there. Okay. Just sort of finishing off the corner, I think. Yeah, there we go. And should now cut into the field down here. So we can sit up this corner and be well out of the way. Or should be well out of the way. Um, and then she'll do that. Let's go have a... We've got a free moment. The combine isn't very full. Our cows. Doing really well, our cows. Uh, obviously not going to be producing any milk until the new year uh, when we get our first calves. Um, all uh, looking healthy and doing well, though, which is good. Uh, very pleased that I put the water pump in here. It's giving us a, a good level. I sometimes come and top it up, but uh, it is uh, it is keeping a, a good level in here and making sure that they always have a bit of water. And it takes it straight out of the pond here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, works quite well. And the pond's looking really good as well. You know, that's some nice clear water we've got in there. That is, this is going to be fiddly. She said she's only taking two headlands because it's... Well, it is just a small field. If she took three headlands, there would be nothing left. But I think it's going to make it interesting for her turning around. And you can see, having to go all the way down the other field, uh, other end of the field, uh, because of, um, yeah, the shape of this, really. But, uh, yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll all be fine. And, uh, and we can sit here and wait... It's going to be a while before that combine is full. He's just finishing off the first cut-in. I kind of want to empty the combine at the end of this row. Because uh, if I don't do that, I'm going to find myself um, with too much on the combine to uh, empty it. And it'll take a couple of goes. So let's be about there. There we go. Oh, no, come on. There we are. I'm a little bit far over. Don't want you to move, please. Oh, never mind. We'll have to get it on the next cut. Yeah, we're only 73% full. But I don't think that got anywhere near emptying the combine. So what we'll do is we'll pick it up at the other end. It's quite um, disconcerting. The, the width of the combine header is a long way off how wide that uh, that auger is. So it ends up giving a false impression to me of exactly how far over I need to be. So, uh, yeah, we'll get lined up and uh, get emptying again. Right, here we go. Get it right this time. We'll get over to the left-hand side of this. And that should give enough space way to empty the combine. There we go. Much better. Uh, and, yeah, that means we can go and empty this and tip this down at the shed uh, while uh, Liz finishes off the field. Perfect. Right, I'm going to head over this way and uh, and get this tipped. So where are we tipping this all? Uh, as I mentioned last time, we've got a shed that is uh, quite a good... Well, works as a, a quite a good grain store for us. I'm considering installing an actual uh, grain uh, bin in here for the limited amount of crop we have. Should We should be able to fit one in the far end of this, I think. Uh, not a very big one, uh, and uh, just really that will uh, will do us. Might have a look at that at the end of this year, 
because uh, yeah this is a fairly large barn to do this kind of stuff in and it would be useful to be able to store other stuff in here as well but we'll uh, get this all tipped out and yeah it'll just go on the floor in here for now it's nicely uh nicely dry and uh, should work fairly well for us as a temporary storage for the barley for a couple of months until um until our prices are right um we keep an eye on the market a bit and sell it when uh, when we best can so that uh, we make the most money combine going through the final row now i don't think there's much more on it based on what we've had but we are getting a nice amount of straw from this which is pretty good so let's get this uh done here and oh no i'm still in the wrong place should have learned from my previous one get myself lined up here like so and then we can get this emptied properly and there we go that is it all done let's go tip this and uh yeah we'll see if we can get the combine up to the other field so Liz has had a call from her father. They had an emergency up at the dairy. Uh, so as a result, we're not going to be continuing the harvest today. She's, um, yeah, so she's rushed off back there. She's left the combine down here. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, get that up to our other barley field uh, later. What we're going to do at the moment, though, is uh, we're going to take this opportunity and this afternoon to go and get our baler out and uh, and might as well get that field bailed up while we have the time so yeah we've got our new holland our little new holland d 800 baler this is uh, there we go hook it up yeah so we've got a nice little d 800 baler We'll get it to the field and then I'll get it all unfolded and uh, we can get cracking and get this, you know, get a little bit ahead of ourselves. Get this field nicely bailed up as well uh, today, which will be good. Right. Did a cracking job of uh, getting this field all lined up and uh, and some good sort of. Uh, some good lines on here. In fact, what I'm going to do is as it breaks coming into this corner, we will start the baling here. So I better go and unfold this baler. Uh, let's head around the back and we'll undo all the latches and everything. So there we go. Bring that down. And just get that out. There we go. And with that already, we should be good to go. Let's start her up. Sounds perfect. Down with the pickup. And away. Perfect. We'll see how this goes and uh, and how well this works. I think this has a pre-chamber looking at this. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, works uh, pretty well for us. Does it? I think actually these are smaller bales, uh, which works better for us on the farm. Uh, rather than producing the larger 4,000 litre bales, I think these produce uh, only about uh, 2,800 litres. Let's see. Yeah, you can see these are much smaller bales on here. Uh, the nice thing about these is they are a size that we should be able to handle, I think. But either way, um, should make it fairly easy for us to go around and do. And uh, means that we we should be able to fit them into a smaller bale treader as well. So something that would normally take round bales, we might be able to fit uh, these into um, for the slightly odd size that they are. This corner here is a little bit fiddly. I know that uh, 
Elizabeth was having some problems at the combine, and I'm having a great time trying to get turned around uh, to get reversed into it. There we go. And back. Come on. Come around. There we go. And down and away again. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, this should uh, this is working quite well for us. Uh, should be a great little baler. Should create some nice little bales, and uh, and we should be able to get some straw into our cows in the near future, and uh, and start producing some manure for our greenhouses, uh, which is going to be perfect. It means we won't have to buy any more in. Uh, and uh, again, makes the farm that little bit more uh, self-sufficient and profitable overall, uh, which is which is what we need. You know, this is this is the thing. The more profitable we can make the farm, the better off we're going to be. Petland's done, and we've got 13 bales off there, which is a pretty good start. Let's get that through, and yeah. I'm really happy with that. 13 bales is a cracking start. Might, some might consider that a little bit unlucky. Um, not me, though. I'm, you know, I'm not superstitious like that. Uh, we have got... A couple of bales in the way here. Should be alright. We could always go and get the telehandler and move some of these. Uh, that's all good. There we are. That wasn't a great sound, but uh, still seems to all be working. And the pickup on this is really good. I've, uh, I'm impressed with this, especially for the age of this baler. I mean, this baler is uh, a few years old, uh, has uh, quite a few hours on it, and uh, yeah, is still functioning really, really well working uh <laughs> it's, a, it's a good old workhorse this even if it does make these slightly uh, odd shaped bales that aren't um yeah we can't we can't get an auto stacker or anything like that in uh to do these because there is nothing these days that supports these bales uh you've got to um yeah they, they just didn't make that kind of equipment for these when this baler came out so we're uh very much relying on manual stacking, but that's fine. Uh, that should still work out pretty well for us. Uh, won't take us too long. We're only going to get about 30 bales maybe off this field. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Be plenty get us started, and then of course. We've got the field at the top to do as well. Uh, that is going to produce a whole load of bales. Whether I actually use this baler on the hay, I don't know at the moment. I have heard of a round baler that might do the job for us quite well as well. Um, so uh, we might have a look into that and, uh, and maybe do the hay bales differently to the straw bales. Although, to be perfectly honest, with uh, what we're looking at a bale shredder, it might have been wise to have done the, them the other way round, have done the hay bales like this, and the uh, straw bales as the round ones. Never mind. Uh, we will... Uh, well, this is working well. I've, I've actually got no issues with it. Last little bit. We've got actually a, a bit down there that needs doing as well. But this has done yeah, us pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with that. I reckon we've got 20, 20 to 30 bales off here. Very happy with that. That's a good start. Okay, they are only 2,800 litres each. But uh, yeah, that'll do us well. There we go. And turn that off. Then I can go and uh, get this all done up. We've got a couple in there. Yeah, those are those are some good, usable, workable bales that we've got here. So uh, we'll uh, we'll get on with those. Uh, but I'm going to leave this vlog here for today. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, 
please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.